Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we added the rule in our project. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can display those data in the admin panel. So here, first of all, uh, here you can see add room option over here. So below this add room option, we are going to have another option and that option name will be view rooms. So for it, we need to go to the sidebar section and modify it over here. So let's go to our code and we'll go to our resource, then views and inside views, we have the admin folder and inside admin, we have the sidebar.blade.php. So right now we'll just go down and here you can see add room. And after this, here you can see page. So here we're going to say view rooms or you can say display rooms so we'll just go with few rooms and we'll remove this li so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here there you can see we have the view rooms option over here so first of all what we are going to do is that inside this href so here what we are going to do is that inside this href stop hash we are going to give to second bracket and we'll say here url to first bracket to see information and we need to give a name let's say the name will be view underscore room so for this url we need to create a route so we'll go to our routes then web.php let me just go down and here from here we'll just copy this route control c then we'll paste it over here then the route will be get not post we'll say here get and the url name was view underscore room so we'll say here view underscore room we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be view underscore room as well save it so right now let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we'll go to app http controllers and admin controller let me go down and here we're going to say public function b underscore rule to first bracket then to second bracket so from here we are just going to return a view we'll say here return view and we'll create a view in our admin folder so we'll say here admin dot let's say the file name will be view underscore room indeed with that save it long. so right now we'll go to our admin folder and right click over here then click new file and we're going to say here view underscore rule dot blade.php then control s and save so let me just say over here random html and in the body let's say here h on view room save it so right now let's go back to our code but before that let me just explain it again so here in the sidebar we say view rules and we give the url so it means if someone click on this view rules, then it will call this URL and this URL will call our admin controller this function. And this function, which is in the admin controller, will return us this view admin dot view rule, which is this one. Okay. So let's save it here. Then let me just refresh. And right now, if you click on view rules, you can see view rules text over here. So over here, just like before, we need to have the header and the sidebar and the body section. So let's go back to our code. And this time we'll go to our index.blade.php. And here you can see we have the header section, the sidebar section included over here, also the footer. So we're going to copy everything from here, Control A, Control C, and we'll paste it in our view underscore room.blade.php over here. So let me just remove everything from here and paste whatever we just copied and from here we'll remove this admin dot body okay so let's remove this save it let's just refresh here let's go to our view rules and there you can see we have the header and the sidebar so let's go and fix this so in order to fix it we need to go to the uh body dot dot bhd over here and from here we need to copy this 3 div so we'll copy it and we'll paste it in between sidebar and footer so we we'll paste it here we will also we'll send div and again another div and 
another div. So we have three div, so we need to close it three times. So right now, if we save it, then if we now refresh, the view is over right now. So now we need to have a table over here in order to show our room data. So let's go and create a table. So in order to create a table, we'll use the table tag. We'll say here table and inside this table, uh, first of all, we're going to say here TR. TR means table row. In this table row, we have the table header. So we'll say here DH. So how many column we have, I mean, header we have on two, three, four, five, and six column. I mean six row. So let's go back to our code and let me just copy this TH and we're going to paste it six times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that total number is six over here. Let me just remove the space from here. Let's just keep in everything in single line. Okay, so the first one will be room title. So let's say here room title. This one will be, let's say, description. Description. Then we have price, Wi Fi. Wi Fi. This one will be room type. Room type. And last one will be the image. We can say room image or we can just say here image. So right now, if we save this, then if we now refresh here, here you can see room title, description, price, Wi-Fi, room type, and image. So let's go and make some table data. So we'll make another TR here, and inside this TR, we'll set TD. TD means table data. So let me just copy this and paste it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's just give some random data inside each td. So let's just say here a, b, c, d, e, f, g. Save it. Refresh. And there you can see for each table header, we have a data over here. So right now, this doesn't look like a table. So let's just make it in such a way so that it looks like a table. So let's go back. So here in the table tag, let's go and mention a class. Let's say class name will be table underscore design dg so right now we'll go at the top in the head section and we're going to say here style tag we'll say here style and inside this style we're going to write some css for the table so since this is a class so we need to give a dot over here we'll give dot table design to second bracket and here we're going to say border it will be in a set to px solid it will be black, let's say black not, not black, we say white. Save it, so right now if we just refresh here, there you can see we have a white border right now. So for it, we're going to say here, uh, margin, it will be auto. And let's also mention the width, the table width, it will be 50%. Save it, then let's refresh here again. And there you can see it is in the center and the table width is 50%. You can increase it more like 70%, 80%. It's up to you. And let me just do one more thing. And that is, let's have the text in the center. And let's also add some padding over here as well. So for it, we are going to say here, text align, it will be center. And let's also say here, margin top, it will be 40 px save then let's refresh and let's change the table header color table header color means uh this one or this so let's make it sky blue so we are going to say uh, mention a class here let's say class it will be dh underscore design so let me just copy this class name Control c and we'll paste it for each table header paste it here so let's get the dog and let's say here dollar th underscore design then to second bracket and we'll say here background color it will be sky blue save it then let's save it then let's refresh here so let's also add some padding so for it we need to say here padding it will be 30 bits 
सेव देन रिफ्रेश ओके थर्टी पी एक्स इज टू मच दिस मेक इट फिफ्टीन पी एक्स देन रिफ्रेश एंड देर यू गो दिस इज फाइव सो आवर टेबल इज सेट इज सो राइट नाउ वॉट यू नीड टू इज दैट वी नीड टू डिसप्ले द डाटा फ्रॉम आवर डाटा बेस टेबल सो इन ऑट टू डू दैट वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू गो टू आवर कंट्रोल एट दिस टाइम एंड हेयर इन द व्यू रूम फांगशन वी नीड टू गेट द रूम डाटा सो फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेयर एट द टॉप वी ऑलरेडी मैंशन द रूम मॉडल सो उल एवर टू गेट द रूम डाटा इन दिस एडमिन कंट्रोलर सो हेयर लेस को एंड डिक्लेयर ए भेरिएबल हेयर लेस से भेरिएबल उल बी डॉलर डाटा यू कैन डिक्लेयर एनी भेरिएबल जस्ट लाइक आई मेन्शन अर्लियर एंड हेयर उ नीड टू से रूम उच इज आवर मडल नेम आवर क्लोन अल देन टू फार्स्ट वागे सो दिस मीन्स अल द रूम डाटा फ्रम द टेबिन उल बी स्टोर इन दिस डलार डाटा भेरिएबल एंड उ नीड टू सेंड दिस डलार डाटा भेरिएबल टू आवर दिस भिउ सो इन ऑर्ट टू डू दैट उ नीड टू गिव ए कमा देन उ नीड से हेयर कम्पैक्ट टू फार्स्ट वाकेट टू सींगल कोटेशन एंड हेयर उ नीड टू से डाटा उदाउट गिविंग एनी डलार उ जस्ट नीड टू से हेयर डाटा ओके सो इट मीन्स अल डाटा फर द रूम उल बी सेंड टू दिस ब्लेट फाइव सो लेट्स गो टू आर भिउ अंडार स्कोर रूम डट ब्लेट डट पी एच पी एंड लेट्स गो डाउन एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दिस टीयर टी डी इज फर शोइंग द डाटा सो फर इट हट यू नीड टू डू इज उ नीड टू फार्स्ट मेन्शन ए फर इज लुक बिकज वी आर सेंडिंग माल्टिपल डाटा सो उ से हे सो उ से हेयर एट दैट अफ फर इज टू फार्स वाके डलार डाटा एस डलार डाटा एंड उ नीड टू इन दिस फर इज लुक आफ्टर दिस टी आर डैक सो उ से हेयर एट दैट अफ इन फर इज and using this dollar data we will be able to get data from the database table so here we are going to send dollar data this arrow sign and here if you go to our database or the table room here you can see room underscore title it is written over here like this so we need to say here room underscore title so right now if we set this but before that let me just explain it again here in the admin controller we are storing all the room data in this dollar data variable and sending this to this view and in this view we are saying that for each data as dollar data show me the data for the column table title so it will show us the table title so right now uh, room title so right now if we just uh, refresh our here there you can see we are able to okay dollar data room title dollar data room title okay uh, the thing i missed is that we need to give to second bracket I forgot to use it. We'll give two second bracket. In order to show anything, we need to use two second bracket in Laravel. So we'll save it again. Then we'll refresh here. And there you can see room title test and another title is family room. So the same way we can also show the description, price, Wi-Fi, room type, and the image as well. So let's go back and let me just copy this. and let me just remove every a b c d e f g from here and we'll paste over here and here we are going to say room uh, it will be description description and here whatever we are writing will be according to our database uh, which will be basically let me show you again don't get confused this one okay so after description we have price then wifi so here we are going to say price then here we'll say Wi-Fi. After that, we have room type and uh, room type in the database us like this, and we'll show the image later. Let me just save it again, and let's just refresh. And there you can see we are able to get the title, description, price, and Wi-Fi room type. So the only thing left is to get the image. So in order to show the image, what we need to do is that we need to use the image tag. So we we'll say here IMG. the image tag and in the source first of all we need to mention which folder we have the image so in the previous tutorial we stored the image in the public uh, room folder here you can see room folder so we need to mention the folder name room slash then we need to write this so we we'll write this and for the image and let me just show you for the image that column name was image so we are going to say here image so right now save it again and uh, here 
on of our data doesn't have any image so it will only show on image and so let me just refresh here and there you can see the image over here you can change the image size as well let me just change the image size and let's say here image width it will be uh, 60 save it then refresh there you can see it got a little smaller so right now let's go and add a border so that we can separately understand that uh, what is whose data so right now let's go and separate each column uh, by a border so for it let's go back to our code and here you can see that tr tag so let's go and just directly write some css for the tr tag so since we are right CSS for the tier tag, we do not need to give any dot sign. So here we are going to say folder, it will be 3px, solid, it will be void, solid, void, save, then let's refresh here. And there you can see there is now a border over here. If you want to add some space among them, uh, like a padding, what we can do is that we will uh, write some CSS for the TD tag. So Let's just say here td, then to second bracket, we're going to say here padding, it will be, let's say 10px, save it again, then refresh here again. And there you can see there is now some padding over here. And here you can see there's a lot of text for the description. So we can limit the number of text showed over here. So in order to do that, uh, all you need to do is that uh, this column is for the description right so we'll go back to our code and here you can see the description td so each of this what we are going to do is we'll give two second bracket first then two not sign like this then we'll say here we'll give two second bracket like this then four not sign four not sign and inside this we need to say s s will be capital str to double clone then we'll say here limit to first bracket then we'll mention dollar data this arrow sign description description and after that we need to say how many ors do we want to show let's say 150 we want to show 150 character so we can just save this and if we now refresh it will show us a limited number of text which is 150 let's refresh and there you can see there is now a limited number of text so for price it is just showing us a number so let's just show a dollar sign after this so for it what do we need to do is that after the price we just have a dollar sign and that's all save it here and then refresh and there you go we have the dollar sign so right now since this uh, data doesn't have any image so let's just delete this uh, we'll delete this and we'll upload on more data if we refresh there will be only on data so let's just upload a room data click on add rooms let's say here it will be regular room and let's just copy a description random description from online random text let me just copy this then we'll paste it here price will be 100 room type will be regular free wi-fi okay yes and let's just upload a room so let's just upload a picture from here uh, let's upload this picture click open and click add room it reloaded it means the data is uploaded and if you go to the view rooms there you can see we have two data over here so we can modify the design a little bit more let's just increase the table width a little bit more i think it is too little and uh, here we mentioned for the table underscore design 50 percent let's just make it 80 percent and let's also increase the image width to uh, 100 save then let's refresh I think this looks better so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we in the next tutorial we'll have a delete button and if you click on the delete button it will delete that specific room
So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.